guys welcome back to it came from a vlog I'm Kate and today we're going to be making five easy crock pot recipes because all recipes in the crock pot should be easy because that's the whole stinking point <laughs> if you're new to my channel which let's face it we're all new to the channel even I'm new to my channel so welcome me and you well welcome welcome us I have a random assortment of videos here from family vlogs to recipes and I like to keep it pretty simple um, sometimes healthy sometimes not sometimes I cook by the recipe sometimes I just cut all the corners I'll be honest I kind of just do whatever I want I personally love my crock pot it's an ancient one it's not fancy it has a giant dent in the back and it's sitting in the middle of a very messy kitchen it, you know let's move on the recipes we're gonna make is a delicious creamy tortellini soup a classic weeknight don't have any time to cook pot roast a salsa chicken that you shred you can put it on top of chips you can put it in burritos you can put it as tacos you can put it on rice bowls whatever it's always good to have um, in your fridge you can freeze it pull it out when you don't have time to cook love the salsa chicken We'll also make some kind of turkey crock pot recipe. I have some like turkey tenderloins that were on sale and I've done it a few times just really simple like I put some chicken broth in there and put some spices and it's kind of like a Thanksgiving in a crock pot. Also gonna make probably Sergio and the kids favorite crock pot recipe a Mississippi pot roast. Insanely simple it's three ingredients or something but you can't go wrong let's do it let's do it. So these are all the ingredientes that we need. Excuse this Cholula back here. She's trying to sneak in. <laughs> you don't belong in this recipe, girl. These are all the ingredients that we need for the creamy tortellini sopa. We have sausage. I had a carrot and some celery. I don't think you have to add these, but I have them, so I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna probably use half this onion. Has some vegetable broth. I'm probably gonna add some beef broth granules too because I kind of prefer the flavor of a beef broth. That's just me. Uh, diced tomatoes and some spinach. So let's get started with browning our sausage, onion, cooking the carrots and celery. Then we're gonna throw that into the crock pot and let the crock pot do the rest. Cook your onion, listen to true crime. Pluck at your onion goo. Cook your little onion. Add in the celery and then chop the carrot good. This is my uh my method. Plop it. Feel it. Smash it. Have you seen those? Ooh. Just gonna jump all this goodness in there. You could totally drain the fat, but why would you? That's the way all the flavor is. Got some diced tomatoes and the spinach. And right now it looks like a gigantic spinach mountain but spinach cooks down like crazy. So by the end of this cooking time, it's gonna look like nothing at all. It's always alarming. I'm gonna throw the cream cheese in and I kind of chunked it up. And the last thing is the tortellini. Then I'm gonna cook it on low for like two hours. I'm gonna taste it and see how it is and tweak to taste. All right, so this is how the soup turned out. It looks delicious. I'm pretty sure that I should have added the spinach and like the last 30 minutes so it stayed bright green. But you know what? It's gonna taste just as good. All right, I salt and peppered it up, gave it a try. It's very good. It's so good. I'm definitely gonna be making this one again. Yum, yum, yum. You can never go wrong with a good old fashioned pot roast. 
Um, sometimes I make my own sauce to do it in, but I have this little pub style pot roast from Aldi. I've tried this before. It's really easy and it tastes really good. So it just kind of simplifies the process. And since I have time today, I think I'm gonna brown my meat, like sear it really well on both sides before I put it in the crock pot. I don't always do it. You don't have to do it. You still get really good tender meat. I think it makes it a little bit more flavorful in the end, but you don't have to do it. You can always just throw it in the crock pot. It's still gonna come out tender and it's gonna taste delicious. I like to get my pan nice and hot. Uh, salt and pepper the one side, throw it in to sear. It doesn't take long, you just want some brown color. And then I can season the other side and flip it over and finish that up. I ended up adding three carrots and two potatoes. I peeled the potatoes a little bit, but I'm not gonna be a perfectionist about it. Let's put our roast here. And then I'm gonna pour the sauce right over. The sauce is only $2.40. Um, I don't even, how much is broth? You could just use broth granules or broth as well with some seasonings, but for $2.40, how easy this makes it is totally worth it. Ooh, I totally should un add an onion. I think I have an onion, I'm gonna add one in. This pot roast has been cooking most of the day. It is so fall apart tender. It's gonna be so good. Sometimes I don't uh, put the potatoes in and instead I'll make a mashed potato and just serve this on top. But to be honest, I'm feeling really tired today, so I think I'm just gonna scoop it in a bowl and call it a night. All right, here's our beautiful pot roast, all served up and ready to eat. For tonight's crock pot recipe, I'm making a salsa chicken. Um, I have the chicken in these layers of bags so that it doesn't its juices in my fridge. It's a super simple, throw the chicken and all the stuff in the crock pot and let it do its job. That's what crock pots are for. It's opening some cans of corn and beans, throwing them in here. I'm gonna hit it with a bunch of different seasonings cause that's where the flavor is at. Put some chicken breasts on top, pour the salsa on and let it cook till it's nice and shreddable. I'm gonna put it on low for a few hours and then I'm gonna stir it and then top it with cheese and let it go the rest of the way till it's nice and shreddable. All right, it's been cooking for a while. I gave it a little stir. I'm gonna to top with some cheese. I'm doing this one-handed baby holding style. Yeah, and we got some shredded crock pot chicken, put some sour cream, some fresh lime juice on rice that I just did in the Instant Pot real fast. And that is dinner, yum. Tonight for dinner, I'm just gonna make a simple turkey breast tenderloin I got from Aldi. This is the rotisserie flavor. And I actually just finished making some homemade applesauce in my crock pot today. It's something I've been doing a lot lately because the baby loves to eat it. I decided to leave some of my homemade applesauce down here in the bottom of the crock pot and put my turkey in on top and just kind of let that flavor the turkey as well. You can use store-bought applesauce. You don't have to use applesauce. You can use packets. You can just use this with some chicken broth. Um, you can put more spices and seasonings on it. I just love making a turkey in the crock pot like this because it's really fast and it's really easy and everybody loves it. It's a very simple, weeknight meal. I'm gonna add a little bit of chicken bouillon because this makes everything better and just gives it a richer flavor. I'm gonna cook it, see how it is in about two hours on high, maybe add some more salt, pepper, and there's dinner.
I'm gonna peel up some potatoes since I have some of those and make some mashed potatoes from scratch tonight too. Our turkey is finished in the crock pot. Our potatoes just finished boiling. I've got the sour cream and tons of butter and some milk and salt and pepper in there ready to be mashed. And I have some Brussels sprouts in the air fryer. Hopefully I can get them nice and crispy. That's how I like them. The trick to delicious mashed potatoes, lots and lots of butter. I need to add some more milk or something to kind of thin it down, but I have some heavy cream and yes, that will work. I'm gonna take my turkey out and slice it up. Some steaming hot turkey all sliced up. It tastes amazing. It's a little sweet from the apple, but not too sweet. You can taste the rotisserie seasonings that were already on it. I'm just waiting for the Brussels sprouts to finish crisping up and dinner is ready. Beautiful crock pot turkey. It's delicious. Bon appetit! Here's everything we need to make one of our favorite crock pot meals, a Mississippi pot roast. You can brown this on both sides if you want for extra flavor, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna put it in the slow cooker. I'm gonna top it with the butter, the two packets, and probably about half this jar of the pepperoncini, and put it on high for a couple hours. You can also cook it on low for a little bit more and call it a night. Here's our Mississippi roast looking fantastic and super fall apart tender. It is ready to enjoy. I have some homemade mashed potatoes that I'm going to serve it on, some roast vegetables on the side, and voila, there's dinner. Delicious. Fill her up. All right, my friends, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed these five easy crock pot recipes. And I hope you stick around, like, and subscribe, and watch more of our videos. If you enjoy recipe videos, be sure to check out the playlist on our channel. We have quite a few more and more on the way. I hope you guys have a fantastic week, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Say bye-bye. Just say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys. Oopsies. Get back in there, little ladies. Guys, I'm gonna... Bleh, bleh, bleh. Ooh, she's hot. She's hot. Ooh, she's steamy. She's hot. She's feeling hot, hot, hot. So, thanks for joining me today in my crazy kitchen. Love. Oh. Oh. Look at the snot boogers on that sneeze. Ugh. Mm -hmm.